So in the previous video, we flashed the Node MCO using a generic program <coughs> and uh, an operating system called Adreno. And uh, in this particular video, what we are going to use it, we are going to use Adreno again, and we are going to flash the Node MCO with a particular specific software program created by a gentleman called Space Hunt, and that is a deauthentication software. And once that node is flashed, then we will use the Node MCO to start the attack. And there will be two kinds of attack I'll be doing. One is a deauthentication attack, and another is a beacon attack. I'll show you both of the attacks. So this is how the interface will finally look like when we have the uh, we have the entire Node MCO setup. This is the web interface, and we will have that attack already. Uh, or, you know, incorporated. So first thing first, what we would do is we would try the Adreno method, now, and this method doesn't work all the time in in Mac, and that's my experience. I'm gonna give it another shot because that's how it's explained. And uh, if it works, it works. Otherwise, I'll use another easier method, which is called the ESP tools method, and that uses the command line. It's just two lines of code. This is a little more complicated because it requires, you know, setting up the Adreno. Anyway, so I'm gonna set up my Adreno first. And uh, <clears throat> let me open the Adreno first and then set it up. And once I set up the Adreno, I have to, um, so this is the Adreno. What I do is I go to files and from files in Adreno, I go to preferences. And in preferences, I go to additional board manager and these are two pieces of uh, links that you have to add there. Once you have added those links, say OK, say OK and go to tools. And in tools, you go to board and from there you go to board manager. And when you go to board managers, you will have to uh, add two libraries. One is called ESP8266 library and one is called the Tobizo library and I've installed both of them. So one, one is this one and the second one is called the Dioth. So that is this one. So you have to install both of them and once you have installed it, now what you do is you open up the web browser. Web browser, go to this link which is provided in the notification. Download this particular, um, the entire module here, have all the codes here. Okay. And uh, then go to your finder, check if it's downloaded, like here it's downloaded. It's available now for me to work on it. So it's downloaded here. Now, once it's downloaded, go back to your Adreno. Go to Files, go to Open. And here you open that particular, in, in Downloads, go and open that particular ESP Dauth folder. In that, you open this particular file, .ino file, and say Open. And once that opens, so it will open a new window here. I'm gonna maximize it. Go to this particular arrow and say upload. Now this should technically work. Now the reason it's giving you a, a error message is that you have to uh, you have to set up the node MCU. So what you do is go to tools again, go to the board manager. And in board manager, you set up uh, the node MCU to ESP12E. Okay. And uh, we're going to try this again. And it doesn't work sometimes. So what I do is I typically don't bother too much with this particular method. And uh, it's supposed to work, but sometimes it doesn't work. So what I do is I... I go back and I use the command line interface and that is much easier. So to do the command line interface, before you do the command line interface, you go here and go to releases 
and you download this particular file the dauth file and once it gets downloaded into your bin you go to your terminal now this is a second method and easier method and here you install the ASP tool so you say pip install here ASP tool is installed and then you flash it using this particular code and this part of the code is going to be different for you because this is going to be your specific port this is my specific port and you have to find out what is your specific port how do you find that out you go to the adreno tool here go to files sorry go to tools and go check the port out that will tell you and uh, once you get this you go here you say flash it in my case it has already flashed so it doesn't have to do it uh, hang on let me just check which folder i'm in so I'm, 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 i have to go to the download folder and here because the bin file is here and now you run this and once you run this it uh, gets flashed this is very simple method just two three lines of code uh, you have to use command line interface that is the only thing here otherwise it's very simple once you download it you you will uh, be able to start uh, using the esp tool here okay and uh, <clears throat> We'll just wait for it to download and show that it's, it's completed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of these details in the description so you can start using it. Okay. So we have 100% completed. Now it's, it's set. Now what we do is we go to this particular my uh, Wi-Fi, and you see the spawn. This is the one. So you click this, okay. You open a web browser, open a new page, and you type this particular web page, uh, web address. You get this site, you come here, and here you can scan all the, uh, all the uh, Wi-Fi signals that you're gonna get. So once you get, this is my own signal, you come here, click it, you come to attacks. So you see the target, there's one target which we had clicked here in the scan stage and you start the attack. And once the attack happens, you will not be able to access this node. So when I click it, nothing will happen. So I should not be able to go to my 2G network. Now I've got a 5G network and of course that will not be impacted because this attack only works on the 2.4G network, not on the 5 gigahertz network. So it's not connecting. As it will connect and then it will connect out again because you know the de-authentication process is that it sends a host of signals so it doesn't allow enough time for your wi-fi to connect to your network so it just intermittently connects and then goes out again so <clears throat> it just keeps your network out so I, I can't use it i can't use it at all so it says no internet now i stop it and we'll use one more attack here uh, which is you go back to scans and you know you go back to your pond you do reload you go back to your scans here and here is uh, the second attack so we first stop this attack we go back to ssids and we create random ssids here okay and we come back to attacks and now these 60 random beacons have been started it's called the beacon attack now once you start this this thing should get populated with 
uh, a lot of gibberish. So now it's, it's that I can start. All these gibberish has been created. So first attack was the D can the D auth attack. The second is the beacon attack. So you can stop it, and this interface will help you. Now, of course, you can also use a power bank to power the um, the node MCU, and you can take it around and you can use your mobile phone and use the same web interface, this one, to access this particular network and use it. So this is basically the attack and how we have created it and how we are going to do it. And uh, I'm going to put everything in the description. So if you want to read it, you can read it from there. Thank you. Have a great day.